years, two-time world junior gold medalist, two-time Stanley Cup champion, Christopher Letang. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Nice to have you aboard. Elliot, you first. Well, Chris, congratulations on your joining the Pittsburgh Penguins coaching staff. How did that all come about, and what did they ask you to do? Uh, I think it's pretty simple. I, I just try to watch the game, try to look for little details, either on our team or the opposing team, and um, I just try to go downstairs, tell them what I think, and uh, they take what they can use, and uh, sometimes uh, I may be a little bit off, but uh, I'm trying to bring that, and uh, obviously talking with the other players, um, to know like I'm playing the same game as them, I'm, in the, I'm still playing, so uh, they want to know my input also. And power play is a big part of that as well. So what do you look for, and in particular, when a power play is kind of struggling a little bit, what are things that you would like it to do to sort of reignite it? I think we, we have so many good players on the power play. They all want the puck, and um, we try to complicate ourselves a little bit too much. And um, I'm just trying to help simplify things, shoot the puck a little bit more, and it's going to create things because when you have those type of players on the ice, they're dangerous uh, at any time. So sometimes simplifying things is the best thing to do. Chris, it's amazing that you and Sergey Gonchar, two great offensive defensemen, Pittsburgh can tap into that. Phil Housley on the other side, and they've got that great four, top four defense that are all offensive. What, what was your take on the Predators having a look at them in game one? Uh, they're really dangerous on the back end. They uh, they join the rush really well. Uh, they move their feet. They're they're pretty much their their breakout, and they they get to the attack. Uh, they don't only uh, carry the puck. They go in the rush. They they play low uh, in their zone. So um, they're dangerous. They have all have good shots. So uh, I think we have to pay attention to those guys. You know, Chris, I think this is an amazing run your team has had considering the injuries, not only yourself, but everybody else. There were a lot of people who doubted your blue line could do the job without you. Did you say anything to the other defensemen once you went down? Uh, I, I, I try not to say too much um, because, like I said, I'm still playing with those guys and I don't want to. I don't want them to think I'm higher or something like that. Um, I just, like I said before, these guys, they really care for each other. And through the years, I've learned that, that when you have a group that is tight, it doesn't matter how much talent you have, it's how much sacrifice you're willing to put out there. And uh, like I said, they care for each other, they play for each other. Though. So I think that that's why they're here today. A right-handed shooting defenseman like yourself, Justin Schultz has had so much success here. What does he do well, not only five on five, but on the power play? Uh, he shoots really well. He's got a great vision. Um, he's really good at moving along the blue line, finding the open man. And uh, when you have two guys like Phil Kessel and Andy Malkin on both sides, um, you have to put the puck in the wheelhouse. And these guys can do damage. I'm interested, Chris, in Rick Tockett's role on the bench. He talks a lot. And uh, he's involved in the chalkboard stuff a lot. So you played under him when you won the cup last year. How was that relationship with Mike Sullivan, the head coach, and Rick Tockett? I mean, uh, obviously, uh, uh, Sully really managed the bench. But uh, Tuck is a guy that will uh, give his tip all over the bench. He will even come to the defenseman side, hey, look for this. Uh, he's, he really talks to, um, to every player to look for different things. He, he's a detail kind of guy. One other thing I want to show here, uh, this highlight, you'll recognize this highlight. But you played in the 2008 Stanley Cup. There you are. You know what it is. Uh, you played with a really heavy heart there in 08 when you lost to the Detroit Red Wings. Magical Luke Bordeaux of Shipping in New Brunswick. I'd just love to hear your thought on, on Luke and uh, the fact that you've had two Stanley Cups to honor your buddy there. Yeah, um, I mean, it, 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 it's really sad every time I think about it. Um, and I'm honestly saying this, and I really believe it that Luke would be the best defenseman in the NHL at this time. Uh, he taught me so much. He, he's been like a, a mentor for me, uh, even if we were the same age. Um, and uh, it's uh, every time I, I look up, I, I look for him. I try uh, try to uh, try to hope that he he's over me and looking for me. You helped us with the feature in St. John, New Brunswick, and uh, the highlights of Luke was the most amazing feature we've ever run on Rogers Hometown Hockey so Thanks. Appreciate this. Thank you. Recovering from a herniated disc surgery and doing really well. Christopher Latte.